And we're back. Um, our veggies have roasted for 20 minutes. They look absolutely gorgeous and they're steaming and you can see that the cherry tomatoes have popped and burst and all that flavor is just seeped into the rest of the veggies and they have this awesome juice going on so I am way excited to eat those. Um, our chicken needed a little bit more time. It was still a little pink at the bottom of one of the bigger chicken breasts, which is normal. So I put it on for two more minutes. Luckily we still have to make our rice, which takes 90 seconds. Uh, the great thing about Uncle Ben's Ready Rice is it's ready in 90 seconds. It already has all the spices in it. It's already cooked. So if you don't have a rice cooker or a stove top or something like that, super easy, especially for college kids. And it was on sale this week, so I was pretty excited. Another great thing is it has a bunch of whole grains in it. If you find this sticker on anything, it means that it's full of whole grains. Um, got it? Anyway. <laughs> Um, and whole grains are really good for you, and th those are the kinds of carbs we want to be eating because they, they fuel us in the proper way, and it's just way better for you than some bleached, you know, semolina flour. So, great thing about this, all you do is tear it, pop it in the microwave. And by the time this is done, our chicken will be fine. So, like I said, 90 seconds, start. Um, and I also told you we were going to put some spinach in our rice, and we are. And I have... A nice little bag of spinach here. Um, we don't want to put our whole spinach in there because that's going to be all chewy and stringy and stuff. So I'm going to get a hearty handful, put it in this bowl, and super easy secret to chopping spinach, just use kitchen scissors. I washed these beforehand and we're just going to cut it right in the bowl. That way you don't have to chop it or worry about it getting all over the cutting board or anything like that. And it's going to make it a little more bearable for the rice to kind of get into and it's not going to be so, you know, you're not going to have these big pieces of spinach when you are when you have your little pieces of rice. So that's going to be kind of nice. And it's just going to wilt really nicely once we put that hot rice on top. So there we have our chopped spinach. I like using fresh chopped spinach as opposed to frozen because the frozen has a lot of water in it. And I think that's going to add a lot of undue moisture to our dish. Um, this is great too when you have spinach that's about to expire and you need to use it. I love to throw spinach and rice and pasta and stuff to, you know, to use it up and to get some extra nutrients in my meal. So spinach is really versatile, has a lot of great stuff. If you watch Popeye, obviously you know there's some merit to eating spinach. But um, that looks pretty good. So we just chopped it up. It's a, about a cup cup and a half or two cups of spinach and it's going to be really nice. And our rice is done. How easy was that? Uh, be careful because the rice is going to be hot and you're probably going to burn yourself. Um, I've done that many a time. I've burned myself on lots of things. I used to compete in the Miss America system of pageants so I have several pretty awful curling iron burns <laughs> all over me. But Well, I mean mostly in my face region. Um, not all over me, that'd be kind of weird. You guys would be like, what is she doing? Um, alright, so we're just going to get, we'll take this one. We have a lot of utensils. We're just going to kind of mix this rice around and get it all wilty with the spinach. And just let that mix right in and, oh yeah, that's going to be delicious. If you don't want to add the spinach, you don't have to. I like spinach, so I do. And again, it was going to expire, so I didn't want to throw it away. But spinach is really good for you. I know there are quite a few people, including my new little stepbrothers who are not fans of spinach. So, my mom just got married, so I have a new step family. I'm pretty excited about it. They ate my cooking when I went home for Christmas, so I was really excited about that too because they're picky little boys. But that's okay. And our chicken's probably done now. Um, and it was almost there. So, my assumption is that it's good. Ah, oh, those look beautiful. And those are actually pretty big chicken breasts. So I don't eat a whole chicken breast. I eat, you know, probably three quarters of a chicken breast this size, which is perfect because that's going to be about a quarter of our plate. And that's kind of what our food pyramid adaptation shows us to eat. So probably, if you don't know by now, um, instead of the food pyramid, we now have the food plate. And 25% of your plate is supposed to be protein, 25% is supposed to be whole grain, and the other half is supposed to be fruits and veggies. And you have a cup of dairy on the side. And I'm going to cut this big fatty part off because that's yucky. Oh yeah, that chicken is perfect. So we're going to leave that other chicken in there for now. 
I'll deal with that later. We've made four servings, so we have a lot of extra food. Okay, so we have our first quarter of our plate. I'm going to get a hearty spoonful of our rice. Maybe two hearty spoonfuls. Just a little more. Okay, that's our second quarter. So now we have half of our plate taken up by our protein and our whole grains with a little more veggie. And let me get a good... Kind of need a spatula to scrape some of the veggies off. They do kind of get burned to the bottom a little bit with that olive oil. So, we're going to take our spatula, get a bunch of our veggies on. Maybe just a little more. Oh my gosh, that looks delicious. Okay, so these just came out of the oven at 400 degrees. They're super hot. I'm going to wait just a couple minutes to eat them, but in that time, I'm going to make our awesome dessert. So, what I have is a honey crisp apple. I can bring this over here, actually. How would I do that? Fabulous cutting board provided by Ikea. Not really provided. I mean, I bought it, but, you know, it was from Ikea. Uh, we have our Greek Chobani yogurt. Um, any brand is fine. Chobani was on sale. Faya is really good, which is spelled F-A-G-E. Is I don't know. I don't know how that works, but that's the deal with that. So let me get two little plates because I am sharing this dessert with my fabulous cinematographer. Um, so we have both of our plates. I'm going to need a spoon too for this yogurt. All right, this is super simple, super low calorie. Um, if you didn't want to add the yogurt, you wouldn't have to, and it would be a little 40 calorie dessert. So, we're going to chop up our onion here, or <laughs> our apple, I mean. Um, thank you, Jessica. This knife is not very sharp, so I'm going to get a different one. Way better. And we're just going to move the plates, like, over here-ish for now, so I have more room to work. Like I said, this is a Honeycrisp apple. In my opinion, these are the best kinds of apple. Um... I'm a little biased because I am from Michigan, and we're very particular about our apples and cherries and whatnot up there, but Honeycrisps are my favorite. I'm definitely going to invest in an apple corer because that was kind of messy and a little bit of a pain, but we'll deal with that later. So we're just going to chop our apples into nice little slices, just like you would if you were taking them in your lunch. We're going to put about half of them on each plate, because again, we're going to share the dessert. Want to share a dessert? Get your own bad dessert. That's Jim Gaffigan, in case you didn't know. He's one of my favorite comedians. Um, alrighty, so we're just going to divide them in half. Trying to, if I can get them all in one hand, gosh. <laughs> we're going to put them on our plate. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just throw it on there. Okay, um... Super easy, we're just going to sprinkle them with cinnamon. It just really brings out the flavor of the apple and it's really homey and kind of makes you think of an apple pie but without all those extra calories. So that's a good thing. And I do love pie, don't get me wrong. I make plenty of pie and it's really awesome. But this is the new year and we're being healthy and I start school tomorrow and I'd like to be skinny. So no pie for us. But not to say that you should deprive yourself of things that you like. Because that is one of the biggest mistakes that people make in dieting or nutrition. You really shouldn't, you know, skimp out on anything, but you need to control your portions. And that's really the secret to maintaining a healthy lifestyle where you're still happy with what you eat. At least that's my secret. Goodness gracious. I, <laughs> I can tell you tons of stories about, you know, girls I've met in pageants who... You know, oh, I haven't had a breadstick in seven months. It's like, oh gosh, it's not really necessary. So, so um, Greek yogurt has a lot of protein, which is really great. It goes with our food plate because we have our little cup of dairy. Um, it's way better for you than normal yogurt. And this entire six ounce package is about 100 calories, so not too bad. And it's actually a lot of yogurt if you split it in half. And it's going to be our dipping sauce for our cinnamon apples. Get a little bit more off there. Okay, 
And then, it was just plain Greek yogurt. You can get the Hind with um, honey mixed in, but they were out of that kind because, again, it was on sale. Super picked over. All the ladies got out of church and gobbled up the Greek yogurt before I could. Um, oh, so we're going to take our honey, and we're just going to drizzle it over our Greek yogurt. And you don't need a lot of honey. Um, on the recipe, I think I put an eighth of a tablespoon, but you really don't even not, you don't need that much. It's just a little drizzle. So just like that much. And then we just dip the apples right in, and we eat them, and it's a homey, cinnamony, delicious dessert. So that is our fabulous meal. Um, like I said, it's exactly $5 for all of these supplies um, per serving. So our dinner is going to serve us about three more times with our extra chicken and our rice and our veggies. Um, what I like to do is I just like to cut up the chicken and mix everything together. Some people are weird about that. That's fine. You can keep it separate if you want. But I like to mix stuff so I can just take it with me and go to work and heat it up in the microwave and then have my you know nutritious and awesome colorful meal that looks way better than everyone else's lean cuisines. Um, so that's that's really nice. Um, so calorie breakdown. Our meal itself is 260 calories and I have all of this, you know, it's going to be next to this video so you'll be able to read how everything, you know, portions out. And um, our dessert is 99 calories. So if you omitted some of the Greek yogurt, obviously it would only be, you know, like 40 or something. Cinnamon doesn't really have a high caloric value at all. So that's pretty good. Five dollars, you know, just under 360 calories. You're going to be really full. You're going to have all your nutrients and all your vitamins and all your food groups covered. And you're going to be really satisfied with your meal. So you will not be a starving student anymore. You'll still have a fat wallet and a fat pocketbook, um, but you're going to be full. So thank you for joining me on The Starving Student. I hope you enjoy your meal, and I hope you enjoyed your time with me. Have a great night.